Hi guys, today we are going to see how you can create a sales funnel for your business. First, let's see why you need a sales funnel. Now let's say you're selling a product. When you promote a product, some people might buy this product immediately. But a lot of people might need to go through a certain process before they are ready to buy the product. For example, let's say you come across an ad on Facebook and it costs you quite a lot of money. Now before you want to purchase this product, you might want to know more about it, like who is selling the product, are you able to trust them, what are the benefits that you can get from the product and how it will be useful for you. You want to know all these details before you buy the product. So it's the same for your customers. Your customers need a certain time to gain the information and trust they need before they are ready to become your customer. So this can be done using a sales funnel. A sales funnel is a step-by-step -step process that you can implement that allows you to bring your customer closer to a buying decision. So this can be done through a series of actions like automated emails, videos, landing pages and more. So these set of tools that you implement will do the selling for you every time a new vista comes in. Now for example, let's say you want to sell an online course and you are promoting it online using a Facebook ad. Now instead of keeping a direct buying link in your ad, let's say you want to create an exciting offer which your potential customer might like and which will give them a taste of what you can offer. If you're selling a course on weight loss, you can provide your customer a list of free tips on weight loss. By doing this, the interested people can give you the emails and get your free tips. So this will create a connection between you and your customers. And you will be able to offer them more information later via email. And in these emails, you can talk about your paid course or paid product that you offer. This will give them more time to learn about you and make the decision about the purchase. In this way, you will get more sales for your product without increasing the amount that you spend on ads. So this is how a sales funnel works. Now the best part is, sales funnel works for any kind of product. It can be a digital product or it can be a physical product too. So you can use a sales funnel to increase your sales of any product. In this video, we are going to see how you can create a sales funnel like this, where we are going to create a landing page, where users can submit the email to get your offer, and we will see how you can send emails to your visitors automatically after they sign up to your email list. Then, we will see how you can send follow-up emails with more information about your product like this. So this will keep you connected with your visitors. And finally, we will see how you can set up a sales page where your customers can make the payment and buy your product. Now, once you set up a sales funnel, we will see how you can track the number of people who have visited your site and purchased your product. So in this tutorial, you will be learning how to set up a sales funnel using a tool called GetResponse. This tool will help you create the landing page, send emails, and do all the selling for you. Now, if you're also interested to know how to create your own sales funnel right from your WordPress website, you can check out our sales funnel course by clicking here. Okay, I'm Brian from Website Learners, and let's get started. Now, I want to sell a product which is an ebook. So, to create the sales funnel, we are going to do three parts. The first part is to set up sales funnel for your product. We are going to do this in three steps. The first step is to create an account in GetResponse. Now, GetResponse is the site which is going to help us create the sales funnel for our products. So, to create the account, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Now, fill up these details and click Create Account. Now, to activate your account, it will ask you to verify your email ID. So, to verify it, let's go to our inbox. And you can see we have got a mail from GetResponse. Let's open it and click Activate My Account. And then it will ask you to fill up these details. I am going to enter my details and click Save and Continue. And now we have successfully created our account. Once you've created your account, we can now go to step 2, which is to create a sales funnel. So to create the sales funnel, just click here, click conversion funnel, and then click create funnel. Now here, if you want to collect emails of your visitors and promote your products in the future, you can use this option. As we want to set up sales funnel to sell products, Let's go to sell a product. 
and click here. Now give a name to your sales funnel. I want to sell ebooks. So I'm going to enter ebook and click save and continue. And click here. So now we have successfully created the sales funnel. Once you have created the sales funnel, we can now go to step 3, which is to add your product. Now I want to add my product, which is how to get your dream physique in 90 days. And this is the product which I want to sell. So to add this product, first you need to create a get response store. So to create a store, click create a store. And here, give a name to your store. I am going to enter go to shape. Now here, change the currency based on your need. I am going to set it as USD and then click create. So now we have successfully created our store. Once you have created the store, next we can start adding products to it. So to add the products, just click here. Here, you need to select the type of product which you want to sell. As I want to sell an ebook, I am going to select this. Now here, you need to give a name for your file. I am going to enter my product name and add a description. And then, add the price of the product for which you want to sell your product. Next, we need to add an image for our product. So choose your image from the computer, drag it and drop it here. And you can resize the image by using this slider. Here, we need to add an ebook. So let's click here. I am going to select my ebook and click here. As you can see, our ebook has been uploaded. Now, by default, people who buy our products will be added to a different list. But we want the list to be connected with our sales funnel. So let's click here and select this option. And once you have done this, click save. And your product will be added to our sales funnel. Now here, you need to select the product you want to sell. So let's select the product which we added now. And click save. So now we've created our store and added the product to it. And this is our sales funnel dashboard. Next, we can start creating the landing page which we can use to promote and get the emails of the people who will be interested in our products. Now we can provide discounts on our product or provide free content upon signing up so that you can encourage your visitors to sign up and in exchange get the email addresses of those who are interested in your products. Now as I am promoting my product which is a complete workout and diet plan, I am going to give out an ebook on 10 exercises to lose weight fast for free on my landing page and then promote it. So people who are interested in fitness and health will be attracted through my ads. So next. Let's go to the second part of this video, which is to create a landing page. So to create a landing page, we are going to do three steps. The first step is to choose a template. Now instead of creating a landing page from scratch, we are going to import a template and then edit it to make it our own. So to choose a template, just click here. And it will take you to this page. Here, you will find different types of templates which you can choose. Just select the one you want. I am going to select this. Now here, give a name to your page. I am going to enter free ebook sign up and click next. So now we have got our template. Once you have got your template, we can now go to step 2, which is to edit our template. Now, as I want to promote an ebook on fitness, I am going to customize my landing page based on that. So let's say you want to change this text. Just select the text 
and replace it with the text you want. I am going to enter about the ebook. Next, if you want to change this image, just select it. Click replace image and click add files. Now drag the file you want, drop it here and then click add. Now here, click use and use the slider to resize the image. So now we have added our image. Now to change this button text, just double click it and then enter the text you want. I am going to enter sign up now. So now we have successfully edited our landing page. Now click here and this is the page that our visitors will see once they sign up. So like we did before, you can also edit this page. Once you've edited both the pages, now to publish it, just click here and scroll down. Now here you can see, we have a sales page as our thank you page by default. This means, once the visitor signs up, it'll show your product page instead of the thank you page. But I want to show a thank you page. So let's click here. Select default thank you page and then click publish. And now our landing page will be published. To check it, just click here. And as you can see, we have got our landing page. So now we have successfully created our landing page. And now we can start promoting our landing page and attract the people who will be interested in this product. Okay. Now let's say you've promoted your page and a visitor signs up on your landing page. Now if we go back to the sales funnel dashboard and click here, you can see the details of the visitors who have signed up. But how will you send a free ebook to your visitors? So next, we can go to the final step, which is to create an automated email with a free ebook. Now along with the automated email, I want to promote my product which is the program on fitness. So when a visitor signs up on our landing page, they will receive an email with our free ebook and when they open the email to download the free ebook, they can also see our product like this. So to do that, let's go back to our sales funnel dashboard. Here, click create an email. And it will take you to this page. Now from here, we need to design our email. So first, let's give a name for our email. And here, enter the subject of the email. Now I want to add the subscriber's name in the email subject like this. So to add it, you need to enter a text like this in the place where you want to add your subscriber's name. So I'm going to enter dear name and my subject. And now the subscriber's name will be shown here. Once you have done that, click next step. And it will take you to this page. Here, you will have different types of design which you can use for your email. So take a look at these designs and select the one you want. I'm going to select this. And you can see we have got a design along with the details of our dream physic ebook which we want to sell. So in this way we can promote the product that we want to sell through the offer emails. And we can let people know about our product and interested people will purchase the product. Now like we did before, you can edit this design. Once you have done that, Next, we need to add a freebie to this email. So to add it, let's select this button. And here, you need to enter the file link. So to get the file link, first we need to add a file to Google Drive. So to add a file, 
Let's open a new tab. And go to drive.google.com. Here, click the plus icon. And click file upload. Now select the file which you want to add. I'm going to select my file. And you can see our file has been uploaded to Google Drive. Now to get the URL of this file, right click on it and select get link. Now this is the link of our file. So let's click here and select anyone with the link. And then click here to copy the URL. Once you have copied it, let's go back to our email. and paste it here. Now click next step. Then click save and publish. And now our automated email is ready. So now if we go back to our landing page, and let's say a Vista fills up these details. And click sign up. They will be taken to our thank you page. And an email will be sent to their email address. So to check it, let's go to our subscribers inbox. And you can see, they have received an email. So let's open it. As you can see, they have got the ebook. And here, you can see a paid product which we want to sell. Now, to download the free ebook, all they have to do is click here and they'll get our ebook. Now, if you click here, You can see the ebook has been downloaded. So, this is how you can create an automated email. And now we've successfully created our landing page and set up the automated email. Once they have downloaded the ebook, let's say they want to check out a paid product. So, let's click on it. As you can see, the product is not showing since we haven't created a sales page for our product. So next, let's go to part 3, which is to create a sales page for our product. Now this is the page, which will help us display the products which you want to sell. So to create a sales page, let's go back to the get response dashboard. Now scroll down, and click create a sales page. Now before we start creating our sales page, First, we need to enable a payment method. Once you enable it, if a customer buys a product from your page, you will receive a payment in your bank account. So to enable it, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to create a Stripe account. So to create the account, just click the link below this video and it will take you to this page. Now this is the site which is going to help us add the payment gateway to our sales page. Now to create our account, click start now. Here you need to fill up these details. I am going to enter my details. And click create account. So now we have successfully created our Stripe account. Once you have created the account, now to receive payments using this account, we need to activate this account. So to activate it, click start. And it will take you to this page. Here, you need to enter the details about your business. I am going to enter my details. And click continue. 
Now again here, you need to fill up these details. Once you have done that, click continue. And next, you need to enter your bank details where you want to receive your payments. So let's enter it. And now when someone purchases a product from your site, the money will be sent to this account. Once you have entered these details, click next and click continue. And you can see, we have successfully activated our Stripe account. Once you have activated your account, we can now go to step 2, which is to connect our Stripe account with GetResponse. So to connect it, let's go back here. Now select Stripe. Click Connect with Stripe. And click Connect. Then click Save. So now we have successfully connected our Stripe account with GetResponse. This means we have now added the payment method and now we can collect the payment from our customer. Once you've added the payment method, we can start creating the sales page. So to create it, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to choose a template for the sales page. So to choose it, just select the one you want from here. I am going to select this one. Here, give a name for your template. I am going to enter Dream Physics Sales Page and click Next. And you can see, we have got a template along with our product. Next, we can now go to step 2, which is to edit this template. Now like we did before, we can edit our sales page using the same method. So let's say you want to change this text. Just select this, and then replace it with the text you want. I am going to enter my text. And as you can see, our product has already been added to our sales page. Once you've edited the sales page, next, let's go to the checkout page. Now here, you can edit this page using the same method. And once you have edited both the pages, click next step and click publish. So now we have successfully created the sales page. And now if the visitor clicks here, it will take them to our sales page. So to check that, let's go back to the email. Now if we click here, you can see that it now takes us to the sales page where you can see our product. Now let's say a visitor wants to purchase this product. All they have to do is just click here, then fill up these details. Here, enter the card details. Now select the product and click order now. And as you can see, the Vista has successfully purchased our product. Now to get the ebook, all they have to do is just click download and the ebook will be downloaded to their computer. Now if they click it, You can see they got our ebook. And now, if we go to our inbox, you can see we got a mail from Stripe. Let's open it. Here, you can see we have received our payment through Stripe. So, now if we go back to the sales funnel dashboard, and click refresh. You can see the total amount of money we have earned through sales. This is how you can create a sales funnel for your product and promote them with your customers. Okay, now if you see here, we have the default domain name which does not look good and professional. Next, 
Let's see how you can change this domain name to a more professional one like this. To change the domain name, we are going to do two steps. The first step is to get a new domain. So to get a domain, just click the link below this video and it will take you to Webspace Kit. Now this is the site where we are going to get our domain. Here, enter the name which you want for your site. I'm going to enter go to shape.com and click search. You can see our domain is available. So to get this domain name, click add to cart and click continue. Since we only want a domain, we can skip these plans as these are going to get hosting. So let's click skip. And you can see here, we are getting a domain for one year. Now just scroll down and here you need to fill up these details. I am going to enter my details and again scroll down. Here, you need to select your payment method. I am going to use my card. And I am going to enter my card details. Then click order now. You can see, we have successfully placed our order. Now just click here. And it will take us to the Webspace Kit dashboard. Now, if we click here, you can see we have got our new domain. So now we have successfully got our domain. Once you have got your domain, we can now go to the next step, which is to add this domain to our sales funnel page. So, to do it, let's go back to our sales funnel dashboard. Now, click here. And select Manage Your Pages. And it will take you to this page. Now just click here. And select Edit Settings. Now click Add a New Domain. And here, enter the domain name which you have just purchased. So let's enter our domain name. And then click Add Domain. Now click here and select the domain which you have added now. Now to complete connecting our domain to the sales funnel page, we need to change the DNS settings of Webspace Kit. So to change it, just right click here and then open it in a new tab. So we need to add these details to our DNS settings. So to add these details, let's go back to Webspace Kit. Now click here. And select Manage Name Servers. Now this is the place where we want to add the details. So let's go back to Get Response. Let's copy this. And paste it here. Now copy this. Then paste it here. Once you have added these details, click Change Name Servers. And you can see our name servers have been updated. Now let's go back to get response and click publish. And as soon as you click publish, the new domain will be added to our landing page. To check it, let's open a new tab. And type our new domain name and press enter. You can see we have got a landing page in the domain name which we purchased. So now we have successfully changed the domain name and the visitors would be able to visit the landing page using this domain name. Now the visitors would have viewed our product 
but might not have purchased it. So what if you want to remind your subscribers about the products and the new offers after some days? How can you do that? So next, let's see how you can set up automated emails to remind your customers about your products and offers. Now to set up automated emails, let's go back to get response and click back to funnels. Now click here, select autoresponders and then click create autoresponders. Now it will take you to this page. Here, give a name to your automated email. So you can access this automated email using the name. I am going to enter ebook follow up. Now click here. And here, you need to select the list to which you want to send the follow up email. As I want to send the follow up email to the subscribers, I am going to select ebook list. Next here, you need to enter when you want to send the follow-up email. I want to send my email after one day of signing up. So let's enter 1. And here you can choose on which days you want your emails to be sent. Now just scroll down. Here, you need to enter the subject of your email. I am going to enter my subject. Next. We need to design our email. So to design it, just click here and it will take you to this page. Here you can find different types of templates which you can use for your email. I am going to use this template. Now we need to edit the content on this template to make it our own. So first, to change this image, let's select it. And click here. Now I am going to use this image which I have already uploaded. So let's click use. And now we have changed the image. Next, to change this text, just select it and then replace it with the text you want. I am going to enter my own text. Now here you need to link the page where you want your subscribers to reach. I am going to add my sales page. Now to add it, just click here. And here, we need to select the link of our sales page. So to select it, first here, select the type of page you want to link. So let's click here. And I am going to select landing page. Next, click here and I am going to select my sales page. Now here, you need to enter the text you want on the button. I am going to enter by now. So now we have successfully edited our email. Once you have edited your email, click next. Scroll down and click save and publish. So now our automated email to remind our customers is active. This means the email will be sent to the subscribers exactly after one day of their subscription. So now if we go to our subscribers inbox after one day, you can see they have got an email. Let's open it. And you can see the email which we have created. And if they click buy now, it will take them to our sales page where they can purchase the product. So this is how you can set up automated emails to remind your subscribers about your offers and products. Now GetResponse gives you a free trial for one month. So to keep using the features, you need to upgrade the plan. Now to upgrade it, just go to your GetResponse account and click upgrade now and you can choose any plans from here based on your needs. That's it guys. So this is how you can create a sales funnel for your products. And remember, there is not only one perfect way to set up a sales funnel. 
It is unique to your product and changes based on your business and the customers you want to reach. The best sales funnel is the one which earns money for you. So keep trying and experimenting with new ways which work for you. Now if you want to know how to get traffic to your site using Facebook ads, you can watch this video. And make sure you follow website owners to get more videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.